Hello everyone, I am LW, and here we are once again getting ready to go through a latch bar workout. We are doing cardio and abs until we change it up. So let's get started right away. 60 seconds, jogging in place. We are doing a three step workout. It consists of one minute jogging in place. Step two, 25 sit-ups. Step three, 25 crunches. That is one set. We will repeat that 10 times. How about that? Our totals will be around 500 sit-up crunches and one mile of jogging. You should make sure that you track what you're doing using a tracker of any type. They all usually work pretty well. Okay, one minute. We're just getting warmed up. And you should also tally, write down what you've done, the quantity. One little mark for every set. You know what I'm talking about. I have my pad and pencil there to make sure that I tally what I'm doing. So here we go with the setup, so let's get started. I know when you first start off, that journey seems to be pretty long. But once you get started and you get into it, you'll be surprised. Your journey will not be as long as you thought. Okay, here we go. One set complete. We're gonna mark one mark. And keep moving along. Up to our feet. So that we can do one minute jog. One minute jogging in place. Today I have my sonar jacket back on because I want to make sure that I'm getting the full benefits of my workout. It gives you a bit more heat. This means you're going to perspire a little bit more. Nothing wrong with that. That's the name of the game. You want to get that heart rate up. Only way to get that heart rate up is to do some cardio. Walking is good, but jogging in place is much better. Doing it enough, with enough aggression, you may find that it's extremely beneficial. 
just as good as using any one of your piece of machinery that cost you an awful lot of money. Sometimes, so much you have to finance it. And you finance it and you still don't use it. <laughs> I'm using a latch bar. This is a basic latch bar. It sells for $35. You can find it on Shopify.com, and you can also find it on my website. My website is www.lw500products.net. Twenty-five sit-ups, twenty-five crunches. Exercising is good for you. I know a lot of you know that, but you just don't find the time to do that. That is exercise. So we have to carve the time out in order for you to be able to exercise. Because it's very important if you're looking to lose weight, but while you're trying to lose weight, you need to also make sure that you are watching your diet, not watching it develop, watching what you eat. Very, very important. And I don't mean watch what you eat until you consume it, or as you consume it. That means to monitor, be careful of how much you eat. Because how much you eat is the biggest problem here in America. We eat with our eyes. That's right, whatever portion you want to get, that's what you take. And you take lots of it. And you go back for seconds, sometimes thirds. That doesn't do your body any good. I know this sounds familiar to a lot of you, and that's what we do. But we need to do something about that. Be aware of your behavior, because that's what that is. We overeat as human beings, and then we suffer the consequences. There's no reason for America to look as it does when it comes to obesity. We are much smarter than that. And we should show it. But no, what do we do? We make matters worse. That's what we do. Because we continue our bad habits and we don't even try to get them under control. You'd be surprised if you were able to get your eating habit under control your weight gain would flatten. That's right. But then you need to apply some exercise. So that you can develop your muscles once again. Because after all this abuse, those muscles are gone.
So exercising is, is only about 25% of you losing weight. It's only about 25% of the contributor of you losing weight. The other contribution comes from your, your diet. That's 75%. That's right. So if you control your diet, you can control your weight. Then you need to tone your muscles because you haven't been using them. And as you lose weight, you want to strengthen your body. One more for a good measure. There you go. We just completed our third set. That's what I mean. Once you start, it, it goes by quickly. So, but we need to get started and focusing on what we can do to improve our health. First thing, stop overeating. Then, set a goal and try and achieve it. Get started exercising. Exercising will help you bring that blood pressure down. Bring that cholesterol down. down. Bring your A1C numbers down. Eating the right foods and exercising will certainly put you on the right track. That's right. The right track to help better health. We all want better health. And most of us can achieve it. Right. You have to be consistent. You have to be consistent with what you do daily. You have to have motivation, dedication, discipline. That's right. Otherwise, you're not going to make your reach or maintain your goal no matter what you do. So, Let's get to moving. You have a lot of my daily workouts that are available on YouTube. Just subscribe and you will see the OG exclusive. And we're talking about us over the hill people. And there's a lot of us over the hill you can start from any weight range. You can start from any age range. It doesn't matter. Because once you are out of shape, you have to work at it to get back in shape no matter what age you are. If you are overweight, no matter what age, you can work out and get yourself back in shape and back healthy before it's too late. This is definitely a way of getting yourself back on track. I will emphasize, you need to work out and you need to diet properly. And that means drinking lots and lots of water. None of those soda beverages, they're no good for you. None of those fruit juices that are extremely sweet. Be careful with all that stuff.
45. If you need to do less, do less. But you have to start somewhere. It's time to stop procrastinating and talking about it. Count for what we've done. We've just completed set number four. So we're moving right along. Going to set number five. Don't ever count yourself out. You can do it. If you put your mind to it, you can do it, just like you've achieved many other things in life. You can also achieve better health, but you have to address it. If you do not address it, things will remain, things will remain the same. So come on, let's get off that sofa and start do it. I'm just trying to give you some inspiration and some motivation to get you back on the right track. And I know it's not easy, but you can do it, and I know you can. So if you go a little bit over a minute, it's okay. Just don't go under, unless that's all you can do. Start off with what you can do so that you can improve daily, because you should be exercising daily. What else do you have to do? Go out drinking with your friends? That's real healthy. Sit around, on the, sit around on your sofa, drink soda, eating potato chips. That's real healthy. Look at the amount of calories on every package of those snacks that you eat. You will be amazed with the amount of calories those little snacks contain. And then, take a look at yourself and say, this is what did this to me. I need to stop. It's just like smoking. Smoking is a habit, it's hard to break, and eating is hard to get under control. But no shortcuts are going to get you there the right way. In fact, they may cause more problems. That's right, more problems than what you can handle. So don't go the fast route. Take the difficult road this time. you'll benefit from it better. <clears throat> 25 sit-ups, 25 crunches on the way.
another set. Completed. That's set number five. So we are at the midway point. As we get ready to start, set number six. If you don't apply it, it doesn't work. So you have to get busy so you can apply it. Otherwise, you'll be watching everyone else look good when you could look good too. Don't think you look good. Not with all that weight you got. You may not look that bad. That's some of you. Some of you are way too far gone. And you're gonna need a lot of patience to bring yourself back. And I understand patience is important because it took you a while to get to where you are. That took patience as you devoured all that extra food and, and bad food and sodas and all that other stuff. It's gonna take a while to get back. Just like it took you all that time to get there. So be patient with your workouts. Don't think it's gonna change overnight. Nothing usually does change overnight. So this won't either. But if you keep at it, if you're devoted, you will get results. And those results will be very favorable. You're gonna love it. You think you love yourself now? Man, man. Once you start getting healthy, you're gonna realize how much you really love yourself. If you don't love yourself, nothing's gonna change. That's right. You gotta start there. Don't be selfish. There are many others that love you too. They all want to see you healthy just as well. But not to take it for granted. They're going to love you either way. Like I said, you have to love yourself to do something about it. I know this exercise is a little bit boring to a lot of you. So you can listen to your music. You can watch your TV sets. Because I'm going to do this over and over. Not only do I want to encourage you, but I also want to take advantage of the exercise that I'm doing. I want to be in good shape just as well as you. So we should be getting in shape together. I'm doing it with you just as well as you think I'm doing it for you. I want to do it with you so that you and me can be in the best of shape. That will also be interpreted into good health, which is our main goal, to improve our health. 
very, very important. Some cardio, some ab work, call it core work. We need to work on those areas because those areas are the areas that hold all the food and, and stuff that we put into our mouth. So we have to work it out of our body. And let me just remind you, your body can only digest so much food at a time. So if you overeat, you're asking your body to overwork, and your body's just not able to do that. So what does it do? All that extra food that you didn't or your body couldn't digest will now be represented as fat on you. And over a period of time, Everyone will be able to notice it, not just you. Let's not overeat. Don't eat with your eyes. We weren't trained how to eat. That's how, why we look like we do. If we were trained as we were younger to eat proportionately, America wouldn't be so obese. That's it. We just would not be so obese. And then you have to discipline yourself to not go back and get second. That's where the problem really lies. And it also lies with that first plate because if your first plate looked like my first plate used to look, you were just as guilty. Don't pile your plate filled with food. Because if it's filled with food, you're going to try to eat it all. Because that's what we do. And also, it tastes so good, it's hard to stop or control what you're doing to yourself. The only way you can get it under control is to be conscientious of what you're doing to yourself. 60 seconds, jogging in place. You can do it. And you probably need to do it. Be honest with yourself. That's what you have to be. You have to be honest with yourself. Because if not, it's going to show. It's going to show. That's right. Mm 
moving right along. Having a good time. Exercising is good. It's good for you and it's good to you. That's right. It'll put a smile on your face, you'll feel so good. Now, I'm not just talking. I'm over 70 years old. That's right. And I feel good about it. My health is good. And I've had a number of problems. I still have a number of problems. I don't use them as excuses. I have high blood pressure, just like you. But it's at a low, an all-time low. Why? Because I exercise. I have high cholesterol. My medication is very low. Do I want to take it? No. But for now, I have lowered my dosage by exercise that maybe one day I will be able to get off. But I won't stop unless the doctor tells me I, I, I can stop. You need to make sure you're paying attention to your health. Communicate with your doctor so the doctor knows how you feel. And you should be monitoring your own blood pressure at home. Blood pressure monitors are not expensive. That little monitor could save your life. And they're very easy to use. You put the cuff on your arm, you push a button, it goes automatically. It will even tell you if your blood pressure is high or low, if you do not know the ranges. It will tell you all of that information. Okay, we've just completed set number seven. Now we're getting ready to start on the next step. That means we have three steps left to do. And as I indicated from the beginning, once you get started, it goes by fairly quickly. And you're getting a good workout while the time is going by. What could be better than that? One minute, 60 seconds, jogging. What are you doing? Just sitting there? Come on, you need to do better than that, and you can. Don't drown in your sorrows. It's not going to do you any good. Get up and do something about it. Make yourself feel better. You can do it at home. You don't have to go to a gym. You can do it at home. The latch bar is a home gym. That's right. You don't have to go and put yourself on the spot in front of a lot of people 
that you don't know. You don't have to do that. You can do it right at home, in your own comforts, where it's also free of someone else's germs. You may have family germs, but you won't have someone around you that you do not know what their health is all about or how it might affect you. If that individual next to you has COVID in the gym, chances are you're going to catch it too. Or even the flu. So we have to be careful going to the gym. These days, if you want to go, you have to go. Then go, but there's an alternative method. Stay at home. Where you're safe, you're no, there's no distractions, and you can get the job done. Maybe your girlfriend or your wife, your spouse, <clears throat> your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whomever, might just want to work out with you. In fact, they may need to work out with you. This is not a game. There we go. You have to do it like you mean it. Set number eight. Complete. We're on our way to the last two set. That's right. The last two set. And then you're off until tomorrow, where you're going to start and do it all over again. But keep in mind, during the day, don't throw your workout into the garbage. Because that's what you'll do if you start your day off overeating or just plain old eating junk. Let's not do that. No coffee in Danish. Eat nutritional food, and you find out that you'll be much better off. You'll be healthier and everything. So you have to eat healthy also to be healthy. Don't even, don't even think about overeating because that's how you throw your workout into the garbage. Make sure your alcohol consumption is at an all-time low. It's not doing anything for your health anyway. I mean, other than hurting your health, there's no benefits in drinking alcohol. I understand it took me a long time to understand that too. But as we age, you understand this hurts you more than anything. So you don't want to drink alcohol. You want to have a social drink from time to time? All well and good. Don't 
sit and drown your sorrows because they're not going to go away. They're just going to get worse. I can talk about it, a lot of it, because I know about it. I'm only trying to help you out. And we all, we all need help. Don't ever kid yourself. We can all learn from each other. 25 sit-ups. Using the latch bar, it's a sit up and crunch assistant. You're using not only your abs, but you're using your arms with the hand grips to help you into the sit up position, which will strengthen your abs and your arms at the same time. Okay, set number nine completed. One more set to go. And we will have completed our daily workout. Okay, we're going to adjust my jacket here. Got all kinds of perspiration underneath it. So let's go. Set number 10. Jogging in place. 60 seconds. All right, we're coming to the end. There we go. Break it all the way down. Okay. We can all find excuses not to work out, but I'm sure we all have reason enough to work out. So stop delaying it if you want to improve your health. You can do it if you want to. Key word, want to. If you do not want to, it will never happen. Let's do it. Last two set, last two steps of set number 10.
25 sit-ups completed. Crunch time. And there we are. I'm going to mark it. And there we have it. Another last bar workout completed. Now we're only working on our abs and our cardio because those are the most important areas that you can start working out. Your abs are very important because, remember, this is where all the food is retained. And if you do not work on this, it continues to grow. If you continue to stuff your food, your stomach with too much food, your stomach will protrude more and more. Stop stuffing your stomach and it will not protrude as much. You will start to lose some of that protrusion. So if you start working out like exercising or jogging in place, it's gonna help even more. And that's what you wanna do. You wanna help yourself as much as you possibly can. So doing all these different things, you will benefit from doing them. But you gotta get started. And if you don't get started, it's just not gonna happen. So, take the OG's word for it, let's get busy. Get in shape with me, and I'll get in shape with you. Let's help each other out. Thank you all very much. Have a great day.